Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to be doing a hair review on this hair right here that I have in my head. And this is the um, Janet Collection Prestige 2 Moroccan Remy hair in um, 16 inches in a color 1B30. I've um, had this hair in since um, the beginning of August. Or well, not the beginning. Whatever day it was at school. So I think it was August 27th, I think, is when we started school. So I had got it done the night before. But anyways, yeah, I got it. I've had it in since August. And um, this is the beginning of October. So, yeah, I think it was August. But yeah, so I've had it in about two, three months. And um, I just came to you guys to show you a review because I'm ready to take it out. I don't really like this hair. I mean, it was nice at first, but now it's starting to tangle and shed really bad. Or well, it always sheded really bad, but it's like tangling horribly now. And um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and like show you guys. And I purposely didn't brush my hair today. Like, okay, I brushed it this morning before you know I went to school, and then I didn't brush it throughout the day, so you guys could see like what it does the whole day. And now I did do a makeup tutorial before this video, so all I did was I just kind of like brushed like the outside down <laughs> to kind of make it look decent, but I didn't go through and like brush it because I wanted you guys to see exactly how tangled and matted this hair gets every day. And like, as you can see, it's like a bird nest up in here. Yeah, I don't really like it like at all. And it's just like really bad in the back. Not even just the back. Just like all over. It's a mess. You know how people be like in the neck area? No, it's just all over. And look, I'm trying to like separate this. Do y'all see that right there? It's like stuck. I have to like pull on it to separate it. And like you can't even like finger comb through it. Like look, I'm like trying. It won't go through. It's like... It, it just like it will not go through here and I'm like pulling too that's exactly how tangled this is you have to like pull it apart if you're trying to like untangle it with your hands and see I'll do the same thing over here look I can't get it through you can't untangle it like with your fingers it's not gonna work so anyways but yeah and so I'm going to have to separate it in two because it just makes it easier to brush because, like I told you guys, it gets super matted. I still think it's very pretty hair, though. It's pretty, but I just, this tangling and shedding and stuff, I just can't do it. But, anywho, so, um, here's, like, a paddle brush. Oh, and as y'all can see, look at, like, all this hair in here. I don't know if you guys can see. It's just, like, it sheds so freaking bad. Let me see, I'm going to like clean this and re, um, and brush my hair so you guys can see exactly how much hair comes out of it, like on a daily basis after you brush it. So I'm just cleaning this out real good, trying to make sure I get like every single hair out so you guys can really see what this hair is going to do. See, this is like all the hair that came out of that brush. Okay, but now I'm going to brush it right now for you guys so you can like see exactly what happens. Oh, well, let me show you guys first. See, it's pretty clean. Those little few hairs in there just because I just brushed it. But yeah, so I got it clean. There's nothing in there. And I'm starting from the ends.
You see how it looks really pretty after you like brush it out? It looks nice and it's like silky again and stuff. Anyways, yeah. It's okay. Here's like all of the shedding that I got from like one side so far. I'm going to go ahead and do this side now. Okay, then I'm done brushing this side. Okay, here's all the shedding I got. I know you guys probably can't see the hairs in there, so I'm going to take it out of the brush. I'm going to clean the brush again so you can see exactly how much hair is in here. Here's all the shedding I got just now. Like, that's ridiculous. Why? But, anywho, so, yeah, and um, I think the hair, like, okay, you know how, because some people do um, quick weaves, and some people, you, you know, they want to use nice quality hair with quick weaves, and they want to use, you know, Remy hair and stuff for their quick weaves, and, um, you know, and some people are like that stupid to use good hair on um on you know a quick weave because that's like a waste of hair. It's still gonna be good, and you're gonna have to take it out. But um, if you're one of those people who likes to use Remy hair for like quick weaves, I think this would be a good hair right here because it did um last about a month or two, and it was you know pretty nice. I think it was good enough for a quick weave. It's gonna like. You know, you're going to take it out. It is like very just, you know, it's not long lasting hair, but you'll get a good one to two months out of it. So if you wanted to use nice hair for your uh quick weave, I think this would be a good, you know, hair to use so that you're not like completely wasting your money. But um, yes, and um, this hair was buy one, get one free on... um samsbeauty.com or was it superbeautydepot.com i think it was superbeautydepot.com where i purchased this hair from it was buy one get one free and um i got two packs of 16 inch 1b30 for seven i mean for 117.99 so um i paid like 118 dollars for this hair and um of course you know free shipping and stuff and and what else do I have to say? I don't know. And um, it blends good with my hair. Like if you have, you know, like relaxed black hair or if you're natural and you're able to flat iron your hair to get really straight, then this would be, you know, good hair for you. It does blend well with um, African American hair. And um, that's about it. It does hold a curl really well and it looks really good curl or well, I don't know maybe that's just me but I like my hair curled with a little wave or something it's not curled right now but I still think I don't know it's okay here it was good for the couple months that it did last but um yeah I'm ready to take this out I was gonna take it out today but I wanted to go ahead and film this makeup tutorial and it's kind of it's too late for all that right now because then I'm going to have to figure out what to do with my head tomorrow in the morning for school. So I'll just wait till tomorrow to take it out. And, um, I don't know. I might come to you guys with a natural hair update. Probably not. I don't think it's going to. My hair hasn't changed that drastically. I've only had this hair in like two months. 
it's, it's like the same thing it was like the last time y'all saw it. So, um, yeah. Or, well, actually, I think, um, I'm gonna come to you guys with an update soon, though, because when I do take this out, I'm gonna flat iron my hair and stuff, and I'm gonna get my ends clipped, and then I'll show you guys, you know, my hair, like, my whole head flat ironed. And, um, yeah, that's all I have to say about this hair. It's okay, I guess, on, like, a scale of 1 to 10. I mean, f for, like, longevity, then, no, it's not long-lasting at all. But it was fairly good, I guess. I don't know, maybe, like, a a 5 on a scale of 1 to 10. Because it has its pros and cons. I mean, if you're, because, like, really, like, me... I really don't like to wear my hair that long because I get bored with my hair. I want to change it up like so fast. I change it all the time. So really one or two months is good for me because that's all I'm going to leave it in anyway. Even if the hair did last for a while, I'd probably take it out and keep it. But I'm still, you know, I still need to change my hair because I just get bored. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's all I have to say. And um, I did film this makeup tutorial here. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then um, I'll leave a link to the video for this in the description box. And um, that's about it. So don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, guys. Bye-bye. Talk to you later.